Hey guys, I wanted to make this quick recording just to bring your attention to something I saw this morning. Now this is from the official As of channel. I don't know if you can see this, um, but it, you can you can go look on the own channel if you want and read this. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll just basically outline what this says. And it says that they they are making a plea. This is the commander of the Azovs in in. Um, in the Azova style plant and they're making a plea that they have children, women and all kinds of civilians trapped there and they want a proper green corridor which means a corridor where Russians aren't going to be checking you know for military personnel leaving as well and escaping which is what they want to do. Now I am hoping this whole thing is just one massive lie for them to get out. I'm hoping there aren't any civilians there. I'm hoping they're just saying this to try and trick the Russians into le or the, the civilized world, whatever they say. What do they say? What do they call it? The politicians of all civilized world, yeah. So I, f I hope it's just them saying this to try and escape like a last ditch effort but if there are civilians there it can mean one of a few things one thing could be that there are genuinely people that hate russians so much or have been lied to by the azovs that they genuinely are scared to leave via all the corridors offered by the russians you know of a means to surrender and a means to escape and the, in these corridors have been offered to the soldiers and certainly to the civilians so they've either been to told lies or they could be like this commander saying that the family members of these Azovs and they just are so brainwashed and fanatical just as, a, as the Azovs are that they are sticking around. Could be. That could be true also. Another option could be that these are hostages that the Azovs have taken. These are, you know, the pro-Russian, whatever, whoever they deem is pro-Russian. Uh, separatist or whatever it is possibly it could be already the dead people who have been killed by the Azovs there could have been people who have been killed through the eight years or for however long they were, they were there you know torturing who god knows what else they've been doing to those people there and this is kind of them making this um excuse so when the Russians inevitably go in there and see what's happening. This is them saying, well, these were like civilians who were alive before, right? You know, recently. We didn't kill them ourselves. The Russians bombed them and killed them. Whereas it would already be just dead bodies there. Or it could be the, the I don't know, which, which is the worst case scenario, but it could be just women and children. They, they literally took down there to be basically rape and torture now, recently. So... I'm hoping it is the very first option. I'm hoping they're just full of shit. That there aren't civilians there or anything like that. But there's going to be some... If this is in any way, shape or form true, there's going to be some horrible, horrible things being revealed once this plant opens up. And it is going to be disgusting. And it, I'm saddened to see that this, this post has 11,000 likes. And some of these people are going to be people in the West just buying this bullshit that um, these people are genuinely hiding in this bunker for days or weeks. I don't know how long they've been there, but without food, possibly without water as well. And it's all because they want to escape from Russian world. It's ridiculous. This is so fucked up if it's true. And that's all I wanted to bring your attention to today. Thanks, guys, and all the best.